Hi, everybody. Whoa. Hey, everybody, it's Bobby. <laughs> little yoga move to start this salmon dish off. So um, I'm Bobby Flay. Uh, welcome to the Food Network Kitchens. And um, today we're gonna make a slow roasted salmon with roasted potatoes and a very simple lemon and mustard vinaigrette. I think salmon has amazing uh, properties, like um, it has a lot of fat in it, good fat, a lot of omega-3s. And the only way to really take advantage of the salmon's fat is to let it melt slowly. There's a couple of different steps here. We need some Idaho potatoes. Obviously, we need some salmon. We need some mustard, some lemon, and then some fresh herbs and some olive oil. And then you need something to, to cook it in. This is an earthenware dish called the cassuela. Um, if you don't have something like this, you can cook it in any kind of vessel that is uh, oven safe, oven proof safe, okay? So first things first, we're gonna get, get going with our potato. So I'm gonna peel the potatoes. And I know a lot of people have questions out there about whether you should peel the potatoes or not. You don't have to peel the potatoes as long as you wash them well. But I just think for, from a presentation standpoint, it just kind of looks really, really nice and clean. But again, like when I was growing up, my mother used to say to me, like all the, all the vitamins are in the skin. I'm not even, I don't even know if that's true. I think, I think she just wanted me to eat the skin. So who knows? But as a kid, like, you don't want to eat the skin on the potatoes usually. You want, you want all the skin off. So we'll take the skin off. It's totally fine. All right. So I'm going to slice these up very thinly. And we're going to roast these first in the, uh, in the cazuela. You want them to be about that thick. I don't know how to measure that. It's probably like an eighth of an inch. But you know, don't drive yourself crazy. This is a very rustic dish. It's, this, is a, this is a terrific fish dish when the, uh, you know, the weather's, weather is starting to turn a little bit, like you know, kind of early fall into the winter. Um, and so like the, the potatoes can be a little bit hearty. And they're gonna roast anyway, so they're gonna get nice and soft. So we're gonna take a little bit of canola oil. And then we're just gonna put the potatoes basically to cover the entire dish. All right, then we're gonna put a little salt and pepper on top of there. Just a tiny bit more oil. All right, so you wanna preheat your oven at 400 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna start out with sort of a higher heat and then we're gonna slowly cook the salmon later after the potatoes are three quarters of the way done. So we're gonna start at 400 degrees, put this in our oven. Let that cook, and then while that's cooking for about 15 minutes, um, we can actually start to prep the rest of our dish. We're gonna make our sauce, which is basically an uncooked, it's an uncooked sauce, it's like a salad dressing almost. Some uh, Dijon mustard, some lemon, and a, and a little bit of olive oil, and some, and some fresh herbs. So we're gonna put some Dijon mustard in the bowl, and then a little bit of uh, lemon juice. Freshly squeezed lemons. This is gonna work as your acidity. I mean, obviously, you know, fish and lemons are always good together. And as you know, I like to season every single component of my dishes. So you wanna put a little salt and pepper in there as well. And the Dijon mustard is gonna act obviously as a flavor component, but it's also going to help to thicken your, your vinaigrette or your sauce. It works as an emulsifier. So we're gonna take some olive oil and we're just gonna slowly, slowly add a little olive oil to the mustard and the lemon juice. And if you want to, you can emulsify, you can see it's sort of coming together, but if it, if it separates, 
It doesn't matter. Don't even worry about it for one second. Because once you pour it over the salmon and the salmon is warm, it's probably gonna separate a little bit anyway. So it's totally fine. And then I like to put some fresh herbs in here as well. So we have some fresh thyme. A little bit of parsley. And we can coarsely chop them. We can use some more herbs with some garnish later, but this is just gonna go right into the dressing. I just like when you have like these, um, these vinaigrettes that you can use, like not just for salads, but for sauces as well. And then you put it over something warm, like when the salmon comes out. And um, when you pour, the, when you pour the, um, the room temperature sauce over the, uh, over the warm salmon, it just kind of brightens up the flavor of the sauce itself. All right, so I have some potatoes cooking in here already. I just want to show you this. Beautiful, right? You can see the potatoes are, you know, they, they're getting a little, like a little bit brown around the edges, but the most important thing is that they're nice and soft, that they're cooked through. So now we have our potatoes cooked and the casuela is still warm. So I'm just gonna take a salmon filet, skin off, right? Just put it right on top of the potatoes, just like that. A little canola oil on top. And then some salt and pepper. And this is like, to me, this, is the, this becomes the coolest part of the dish, which is the fact that now, like, as I said, the salmon is gonna cook really slowly. It's almost gonna be like, it's almost like it's, um, it's gonna transform for, like from this bright orange color, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna sort of become this pale orange color. And, the, and it's because the fat that's running all through the salmon is gonna melt really slowly and basically um, create this really silky piece of fish. And to me, that's the key to this whole thing. It's just the, the texture of this is amazing. It's the best way, in my opinion, to eat salmon. And it's really easy because once you put it in the oven, that's all you have to do, all right? So we're gonna put it in the oven. Now, we, we take our oven from 400 to 250. I'm gonna turn this to 250. And another 15 minutes, we should be good to go. Salmon cooks, the juices come out of the salmon, becomes part of the potatoes, and you serve the casuela with the potatoes, the salmon. I'm gonna show you how we sauce it. You serve it right in front of your guests. So it's basically done. You don't even have to plate it anymore. Presentation is done for you. So here's what it looks like. You can see how the color has changed on the salmon. Look at that. And it's just cooked through. Mmm, smells so good. So we're gonna take our sauce and just pour a little sauce right on top. And I also want to put some of the sauce right on top of the potatoes as well. You know, just kind of, you know, don't overdo it, but this sauce works with the entire dish. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of fresh thyme, just drop some of the fresh thyme on top of the salmon. Thyme and potatoes, mustard, all goes really well together. Tear some parsley leaves. There you go, done. If you want to, you can take a little bit of uh, lemon zest, why not, right? I always say like the more lemon the better, especially when it comes to fish. And as I said, like it's, it's ready to serve because it's already in a beautiful serving dish. All right, so I'm gonna give this a taste. So you can see, here, take a look at the salmon there. You see how it's cooked all the way through, but it's still silky. And basically you wanna take a little bit of the potatoes, some of the salmon, of course, some of the sauce. Mm. You have some of the crispiness of the potatoes and the bottom of the casuela gives it a really nice crunch. And then the rest of the potatoes are cooked through so they're nice and soft. And the silkiness of the salmon with the mustard vinaigrette, I mean, it just works so nicely. It's oven to table right there.